In the tone, looking pretty cool, Da Pong. I can tell you so many things about Liang Jingquin's game. The 27-year-old has been a staple for China. He's the guy that clears the way. When you don't see Fang Zhendong in the 2019 World Championships, you look at Liang Jingquin. When you don't see Tomokazu Hadimoto in the quarterfinals of the Singapore Smash, you look at Liang Jingquin. Same with the World Championships, but it was Tiago Apollonia, 3-0 in the round of 64. 32, the dude, Benedict Dudov, Germany. And Tomokun Hadimoto, a five-gamer against Liang Jingquin. He's got explosive power, boxy frame, big legs. That's why they call him Da Pong, Big Fatty. 43 on the other side, physically fit as can be. Timo Boll said in the last round, 24 titles, 24 years of pro. It's an average of one title every year of your 24-year career. Man, he's been strong. Clarence Chu. I had a chance to meet his sister just earlier today. Clarence has been a leader for Singapore for some time. Anton Shelbe of Sweden, 3-1. to one. And then Lin Shidong, the big one, 3-1. to one. That match, for me, is one of the most interesting matches I've seen at this event for a lot of reasons. But here's some reasons to fight. $1.5 million in prize Monet. That's French for money. It's not, but it's a lot of money. Champion gets 2,000 points in the world rankings. That's the exact same amount as winning the Olympics. And this year, we've already got two confirmed grand smashes, and there might be more. Timo Bull with almost two thirds of the fan vote here. Liang Jing Quinn, a shy 36%, just over half of Timo's support from the fans. You can cast your vote at worldtabletennis.com. Among other things you can do there, I've got about four World Table Tennis tabs open in front of me right now. Hey there, is that Rajimski? Miłosz Rajimski for Team Poland watching on? I guess he'll be playing later First on in the youth game. contender that's happening. More to serve, love all. Poland with a lot of strong up and comers. But two of the best in the world right here battling the world number 43, Timo Magic Bowl to start off this best of seven, love all. Love. Wow. Bottle challenge accepted, Liang Jingquin. I think the speed that Timo and the placement that Timo wanted on that didn't come out the way he'd planned. Deception on the serve. He's got so many tricks up his sleeves, Timo Bull. Not a lot of room on the left arm, though. Sleeve as tight as can be for his racket arm. Liang Jingquin's turf. <laughs> turn to serve. One. Also his turv, as it's known. It's a very short way to say it. Jorg Roskoff, another lefty for Germany who paved the way for many professionals. 89 doubles world champion. Beautiful counter. Yang Jingquin backing off the table in that backhand corner. Quick reaction, very little rotation on the serve and right to the line, as wide as can be. Three, two. And while this is a best of seven, much like against Lin Shadong, Timo's going to want to finish quickly. Simply because, from a stamina standpoint, you'd have to imagine Liang Jingquin. Let ball, please, a bit higher. Ooh, this leads to one of my favorite stories about Timo Ball. Three, two. His serves are incredibly precise. And now they're on a towel break. In 2019, we had technology to monitor the service toss. And Timo told me in the locker room, yeah, if they challenge my serve, I will call them. And he called for a replay on a service warning. Just a warning. They didn't even take the point. And when the review came back, 16 centimeters and a half. <laughs> he was half a centimeter over the required amount. Two. Five. Talk about confidence, but handled the warning nicely. Comes back to extend his lead. Backhand inside the table. The pattern already ready to turn the corner for the forehand. And a dribbler Six, over the top of the net. Two. Timo was 192 in the world just a few months ago. Came out of nowhere. Beat Zhang Wu Jin, Lin Win Ru, and Tomo Kazu Harimoto. Six, three. This is the thing. Timo's so magic that you can't comprehend people at his age playing as well as he is. 
Three, seven. Little help off the net here. I say that because eight years ago, the internet was saying time to retire, but he's just come back stronger, fitter, faster, better. Daft Punk over here. Four, seven. Young Jin Quinn a step in the right direction with a nice quality parallel backhand. Again, one of the most explosive players in the game. Perfect placement. Seven, Clogs up Timo Boll in that backhand corner. Timo looking to turn. Watch this pace. Keep your eyes on Timo. Net wants the forehand, has to backpedal. The Ong Jin Quinn plays it right to the line as wide as can be, and it's a two point game now. Let seven five. Let seven five. Seven it off the top six. of the net, but well handled nonetheless. Leon Jing Quinn handling a very uncomfortable, slow, spinny backhand. Timo with the opening. Most players will not make that shot. Timo again knows what you like and gives you something different. Seven, oh. And pushed back behind the table, defense from Timo. But he knows that he can't get too passive. One shot and then he tries to counter back, leaping for that backhand. Four in a row now for Liang Jing Quinn. He was down three, seven as the serves back. Seven, nice change up. Timo with a very unusual, what appeared to be Chiquita, slow and spinny to the backhand side. All signs were showing the ball going somewhere else. Oh. Eight, oh. Not so common we see a serve unless it hits the edge of the racket received. On the receive, that is. Clear the table by that much, but six of the last eight points to Liang Jing Quinn. No, no, no. Handcuffing Nine. serve. Timo back in front by one. Let nine eight. If you follow WTT on Instagram and the socials, you probably heard the interview with Timo after his win in the last round. Eight, Big setup ten. here as he sends it into the third towel break with two game points. What Timo said was thanks to the crowd for supporting me, although there wasn't much. <laughs> he said, I understand, sure enough, if you're from China, you'll root for the Chinese player naturally. Timo one of the most respected players in the world, still massive fan base in China. Two game points for Timo. Gets the net but recovered. Liang Jing Quinn saves one. He's got a second serve here. Receive game, Timo. You never know what's up that right sleeve. Net and out, and here we are at Deuce in game number one. Two game points saved for me for Timo's chances. This game number one is going to be crucial. He's looked as fast and fit as I've seen when he played Lin Shadong. Alternating serves here until one player gets a two-point lead. Slow and spinny from under the table. Leong Jing Quinn with his third point in a row sets up a game point in the first. Remember last time they played, Liang Jing Quinn didn't drop a game. That said, that was just over five years ago. Game point, Da Pong. Whoa! Net. Check that Eleven, one out for the replays ten. later. Net 
opponent's side and then came back over. That's how much backspin was on that serve. Timo with the change of pace sets up the bread and butter, is able to step around the corner, but it wasn't easy. Took a few backhands in this rally. Let's serve, watch where it comes, straight back over. At the point of contact, the ball was spinning so fast, it was like a tire or a helicopter propeller. You couldn't tell which way it was spinning. 12-11. Game point, second time for Leong Jing Quinn. A man with a plan always, Timo, web coach MD, has said, play every shot with intention. And a slow, spinny shot. Timo can double down on that top spin like very few can. It's part of the reason the fan vote yesterday favored Timo. The stadium was all behind Lin Shigong, but the internet knows that Timo is able to break rhythm, to make it uncomfortable. Whether you're Zhou Chi Hao having beaten Ma Long and Fan Jun Dong just before this, someone said something funny. Come on, Timo. There we go. Let your voice be heard. Third deuce point. Little bit off the top of the net. It's game point. Third time for Timo. Alf gets Timo. They won't chant that. <laughs> They've got the Jio Liang Jing Quin serving against game point. Did it twice before and saved two. Let's 12 13. Fine margins. They practice these serves tens of thousands of times. And this is why, half long, Timo tries to scrape the attack to steal the opening from inside the baseline. Liang Jing Kun tempted him, baited him, but just not enough wiggle room for any comfort there. Deuce, fourth time over, serve with Timo. Short side of the table, Timo takes it on the step around. Don't know what the finger's up for, but in this rally, started slow and turned up the heat. Heavy top spin gets way low for this. Look at that around the net. Jeez. From that camera angle, he's played around the net shots from the backhand side using the forehand, but not that low. Game point back to Timo. Having a little conversation with the ball, Timo in the touch, saying, we know each other so well after all these decades together. I told you to do something else. What happened? I thought we had a deal. Fifth deuce point in game number one. The grunt does not pay off. It's Timo who gets another game point. I think it's his third at deuce, which would make it his fifth game point. Again, my math has been a little off today, so pardon me. Game point, Timo. Fifteen four. Caught in between. Timo with a push coming just a little bit long, and Liang Jing Quinn knows what to do with it. Fifth towel break, the only score by barely long. From that camera angle, it looked like a quality push, the type of push that would make someone hit the table, change their mind, miss the ball altogether. Whisper, whisper. I like that. I like when they talk tactics in the crowd. Sixth deuce point. Timo waiting for the fans to stop chanting. Nice spin on this one. Side and top from Timo. Really grabbing this ball. Not racing to play it out in front, but spinning and arcing it. Some players there. Fans. Also players watching close. Net now once again, a marathon game number one. 
seven deuce points. Now in terms of mental toughness, these are the points that really test how you play, how you hold up under pressure. We've seen Timo down many times, including the last title he took against Tomokazu. That was the bottle 16, challenge he wanted with 17. the first serve of this match. Deeper, faster, long into the backhand. Take a look there. And it backs Liang Jingquin up. Forces Liang Jingquin to play a shot that's about 80% what he's capable of. And that's enough for Timo to earn game point again. Slow spin 17. from Liang Jingquin. A taste of Timo's own medicine here. The online doctor, web coach MD Timo getting a prescription from the other side. <laughs> On the chase, Leon Chukun finding the wide forehand here as Timo steps around and for the first time in some time punished for doing it. A long move to get there. Racket way out in front, Liang Jingquin with the early timing, earns himself another game point. Remember, games are normally played to 11 points, but must win by two. That is what half long is all about. Liang Jingquin gets the hesitation. Timo looking to avoid playing passively. And at the last moment, had to change his mind. Realized, I don't think this one's gonna come off the table. It's not gonna be a comfortable opening for me. And a sigh of relief as Liang Jingquin manages to edge out game number one. 19 to 17 in this best of seven. So here's the role of honor. Champions for the last eight months. Fang Zhendong to start it off. Marcos Freitas, the freight chain, freight train. Matias Falk, Lin Winru, the silent assassin. Wang Chuqin, Ugo Calderano, Felix Lebron, Lin Winru. We've got Liang Jingquin right there. And Timo Magic Bowl as well. Tai Yuan for Liang Jingquin in Doha. We've got ourselves a match here. Felix Lebron taking Antalya and Goa. We'll have a chance to see him later on in this event as well. Lin Shidong, is that you? Hiding so shy, la. Zooming in. Digital art. Oh, I'm on TV. Wait, it's you. Me? Fans will see that. Lin Shadong, the player responsible for eliminating the defending champion two times. Fang Zhendong winning last year and 2022. The world number one beaten by Lin Shadong. Second the bigger game, fish team. Leon to serve. Love all. It's a dog eat dog world. 1 0, Leon Jing Quinn lives and leads. <laughs> One love. There was a compilation released by WTT of Timo's backhands over the years. Love side of the two. table. Timo quickly acknowledging that that ball only touched the side of the table, that it was his opponent's point. As fair as they come, Timo. The young Jing Quinn with a better start here. Managed to finish last game successfully. Seven of the last eight. Liang Jing Quinn. What in and out footwork from Liang Jing Quinn. The drop shot from Timo. Drop shots are never easy. We saw the future world number one as of next Tuesday. Wang Chuqin try a drop shot. Timo taking most of the pace off it. Liang Jingquin right back into the table plays a very solid spinny shot. Four, one. Timo with the variation of the timing. Again, one thing that's made Timo a threat to Team China after all these years, is his timing, how early he can take the ball off the bounce. One, five. First towel break, Liang Jingquin only dropping one point. So far, not nearly the scoreline that we saw in the first game. 
What's it going to take? Smiles. Well, the fans are going to be smiling. The ball kids are going to be enjoying. Senior most ball kids able to be in the Infinity Arena. The big show here. Two, five. Interesting shuffle there from Timo to create a little space for that forehand. It's a fine balance of balance out here. How to move. Six, two. If you're just getting into table tennis, generally, it's like a gallop or a trot. You don't move the outside foot first. You move towards where you're going. I guess you do move the outside foot in that case. Seven, two. But you'll watch that, the way they shuffle their feet to not hyperextend, pull a groin, to keep their balance, to stay low to twist. Look at that shuffle. Covers the middle well, Liang Jingquin. And a dominant game number two so far. Two, eight. Last time they played, their closest game was game number four. And it was still a 13-11 victory for Liang Jingquin. Timo with a different attitude here. Three, eight. You could say a different plan, maybe. Nice change of pace once again. Timo going for the spin instead of the speed. Eight, four. Second towel break, Timo making his moves. Two in a row there. If you've been watching this event and catching the broadcast, again, Timo Bull in a generation where very few are still playing. Wong Hao, for example, had many years with Timo. Still a chance, nope, it won't come down. Nine, Gets the first one four. back. The lobbing game is never easy. Not at this level. Turning around the racket there, Liang Jingquin twiddles to put the red, the soft side out, as he's got 12 of the last Five, 16 nine. points. And the reason is, when the ball's that high, you don't need as much spin. You need more speed. And that's the trampoline effect of the backhand rubbers that most of these players use, especially Team China. Six, nine. China specifically, and a lot of the Korean players as well, a few of the Japanese players, use a tackier, heavier Chinese <laughs> rubber that's very slow in the short game. It's heavier to carry and more for spin. Ten, six. And now it's four game points for a two to zero lead for Liang Jingquin. Perfectly played under the elbow, six. Liang Jingquin 11 to six, much quicker game business young. this time around than last game where it was a 19 to 17 victory. Liang Jingquin getting that right foot in Still keeping his weight forward. You can see the change of grip for the backhand thumb up a little bit just to guide the ball from behind the racket. Two to zero now after an 11 to six victory. Conversation hydration and game three to follow. is called but it's 2-0 right now Liang Jingquin making quite a turnaround in game two not allowing the same score line as game one third game ball to serve love all fun fact Timo has played the coach of Liang Jingquin Wang Hao 14 times has won four of those 14 one love also fun fact, the sequel, part two, Timo is three years older than Wang Hao, who's 40 years old. But he's out here in the quarterfinals battling. 
What a combination. Liang Jingquin completely knocked off balance, has a chop and a parallel winner to follow up. This is incredibly unusual. Oh, that right there looked like Truls Morgard dressed up as Liang Jingquin. Tough to come down and then come back up so quickly. Liang Jingquin dropping it there for a minute, getting low to stay on top of this ball. Watch. That one had to come completely across the upper body, magically springs up to his feet. It's funny, you see some athletes taking all sorts of classes related to balance. In college, we would see these 300 pound men taking ballet classes to learn how to be graceful on their feet. Now, Liang Jingquin isn't in that category, but in terms of grace on feet, oh yeah. Two points apiece now. Three, two. Little self-coaching out here, finishing lunch. Timo up by one. Rocket Two, backhand, Timo four. taking a chance, recognizing the opportunity early. Timo's gonna be looking for these shorter points where he can. Combination play, this is the thing. At this level of play, it's not one shot. It's an entire cast of shots, patterns, combinations that come together to set up an eventual winner. Three. Four. Serve in the third ball attack, Liang Jingquin within one. Four. Four. Quick and deceptive, the backhand from Liang Jingquin, tough to tell where it's gonna go, hey, we're on TV with our Chinese flags, we see us. <laughs> I like it, a little Usain Bolt there from the crowd. Five, four. Grunt for Grunt, it's Timo who takes it. Opening spin, wide stance from Timo was able to cover, able to cover the middle with the forehand. Five, Gotta love these rallies. Five, Leong Jing Quinn starting it off with a Timo-like opening, slow spinny arcing shot. And what would happen next would be quite thrilling to see. Right into the middle, good coverage with the racket head up. Short stroke, no pullback. And a little bit more time on that. Now Liang Jingquin doesn't let go of the reins. Five, six. Again, the off-speed spin. Chiquita from Timo Bol. Bol Banana. Let five six. Seven, Heavy spin. Five. That extra bit of spin from Timo. Again, a lot of ways to win a point, but against someone as well prepared as Liang Jingquin, it feels like less than usual. At this towel break, I'll give you another fun fact. Jorg Roskopf, 54 years old, doesn't look it, in incredible shape. Him and Timo have played once before, despite 12 years between them, and Timo has a 1-0 record. Timo, 25 at the time, Jorg Roskopf, 36. Age, five. Timo looking to get in this match. Remember, last time they played, not a game for Timo. Full stroke forehand. Still nothing to do against the spin coming in. Six, this combination eight. is so crafty, so clever. 
Leong Jing Quinn deeper and deeper into this backhand. Gets Timo to step around, keeps him there. Now he's leaning and goes the other way. Takes it early. If he can get Timo off balance like that, he's going to create the opening time and time again. Beautiful backhand leaping. Nine. Timo getting the feet in the air to stay on top of this one. <laughs> Both of them at once. Not so common to see that. On the Chinese side more so, actually. Nine, seven. Race to the backhand corner. Liang Jingquin knows Timo wants to step around. Liang Jingquin, Jayo. Poster takes two hands. It's a big one. Seems fitting. Go. And now Ten, three game seven. points. Timo had two in the first before it went to Deuce and had many after that. What felt like five, at least five, in game number one, but he's got three here. The serve to close it out, Timo. And he takes it 11 to 7, keeps hopes alive. The 43 year old, world ranked number 43, who spent the majority of the last two and a half decades in the top 10 in the world. He's got one game on the scoreboard here. A lot of points up for grabs at this Singapore smash. So the plot thickens. A nice response to being beaten 11 6 in the last game. Timo 11 7 here. Fourth game, Leon to serve, love all. The young Jing Quinn with a two to one lead. Timo with a bit of momentum though after taking last game. Ooh, back edge Love as well. One. I mentioned has spent the majority of his career in the top 10. 2004 to 2016 didn't leave the top 10. One all. Is also the oldest ever world number one. Little conversation here. One all. Smiles all around. Not quite clear on what the conversation was. Two, one. So well handled, rarely a controversy involving Timo. He's quick to be a people pleaser, a sports person. Fair and square ends with a smile. One, three. When I think of the comebacks from Leon Jinquin, I think back to 2021, the thrill from Brazil, Hugo Calderano up 3-0 at the World Champs. Leon Jinquin showing nerves of steel. Five, two, three. And if memory serves against Lin Shidong, was down two game points in a best of seven at 8-10 in the sixth. Came back to save those match points and win. Yang Jingquin seems unfaltered under pressure. Three, oh. A nice parallel backhand, clever shot with a short stroke, ties it up to three points apiece. Yeah, Timo four times world number one. And a few days before turning 38 years old, became the oldest ever world number one by a landslide. I think taking that record from Waldner. 
four, three. To think that a player with as many answers as Timo could say this about any player, he said Waldner was just too difficult to receive. Nice combination Three, here. Five. A blink of an eye, and he's already made two strokes. Timo Bull. Fanning up that forehand, looking to add a little bit of extra topspin to make it come down. Deep Three, on the table to six. follow. Timo with the opening backhand and the finisher from behind the table. It's his constant change of rhythm. Shallower, a little bit inside the baseline, and then out to the forehand side a bit wider. Nice arc from Timo on both of those arcing shots. Let three, six. Six, four. Heavy spin on the reverse pendulum serve here. Little hyperactive touch there from Timo, who basically says, Woo! Okay, not bad. Seven, Handcuffing four. serve, leaving Leong Jinquid under the table on the forehand side. Wide enough to invite and around the net shot. But it's always tough to play a really low shot around the net. You risk leaving the other side open. Four, eight. Probably more importantly, you risk missing. If you play it slowly at this level, someone can return and around the net shot comfortably. Four point lead for Timo Bull. Just a little bit of exhale here. Again, at 43, fit as can be. Four, nine. This felt a bit like an escape for Timo in this point. Liang Jingquin had him on the ropes, chasing this forehand. Watch the opening Liang Jingquin takes. But the quality from that camera angle, you could see Timo's shot was low in six of the last eight points for Timo Magic Bowl. Ten, four. Six now, game points to tie it up. In a good position here, Timo, a nightmare for many Chinese opponents over the last several decades. Ten, five. A one-touch shot, Liang Jingquin saves a game point. <laughs> Heavy spin on Never both, five. into the middle after the game first one. Ball. Liang Jingquin looking less comfortable than we've seen at any point this match. 11 to five, Timo, the reverse pendulum. Heavy spin to the middle. One more heavy spin right to that elbow. Hits a moving target in that elbow. And now it is tied up at two games apiece. It's not the decider because it's a best of seven, the quarterfinals, but some serious momentum swing here. 11-7, 11-5, Timo, bowl on a roll. Game five right after this. By the way, in case you like watching the best table tennis players in the world as you are right now, WTT Champions Incheon coming up. That'll be in March, the end of the month, the 27th through the 31st. Ma Long, Shin Yubin, Zhang Wu Jin, and Sun Ying Sha will all be there. Get your tickets at worldtabletennis.com slash Incheon. Please forget if that's a backslash. Either way, you saw it on screen, type it in. Again, it's a Champions event. So right now you're watching a grand smash in the Singapore Smash, the biggest event. Nobody misses it. If they can be here for any reason, they're here. And the champion's also quite big, so all the big names of the game will be there. At least the majority. Here we go. Game. Ball to serve. Lock off. Game number five. Timo dries the hand, comes back with a plan. Three years younger. Wong Hao on the bench. Coaching on Liang Jingquin. Wow. Keeping it uncomfortable, Timo. The funny thing is, for most players in the world, that ball would be hard to just keep on the table. Not even worrying about what comes back on the next shot. 
But for Timo, it's a divisive shot. And here on the serve, Liang Jingquin finding a way to create that opening in the middle. Long reverse pendulum uh, creates a backhand, rather. Decisive. Yang Jingquin in front for the first time in some time after two quite one-sided games. There's the power, the confidence that Liang Jingquin is going to need to find to cause trouble. How many times have we seen him play two to the deep backhand of Timo, get him to step around and then go to the wide forehand? Timo's relied on his backhand more. Let one, three. It's amazing how quick the reaction time is of these. Timo saw the hand up there and stopped playing. One, four. Good start for Liang Jingquin. Looks like a completely different player. Again, one spin to the baseline, second one deep. He's learning the patterns of Timo. And that's when Timo tries to change up the patterns. Relies on the backhand a little bit. Says, okay, I know what you want me to do. But still not easy to rally backhand to forehand with Liang Jingquin. Timo not going for the big spin shots either. Guiding the ball forward, a little bit more of a punch. Just something to break up the rhythm of the rally. Six, one. Quite a response to the last two games. Liang Jingquin has found his mojo. The parallel two, forehand. Six. Timo on the step around, ready to make a long chase to the forehand side. Gets his second point. We've seen big comebacks, even against Tomokazu Harimoto player who beat the top two in the world recently at the 22 World Championships. Two, seven. Five points in front on the receive, Liang Jingquin. Let two, seven. Eight, Serve comes just a little bit longer. Liang Jingquin there, gratefully waiting and ready. Full stroke forehand, putting that extra pressure on Timo. Eight, three. Good rhythm breaking, shallow spin shot here. Timo's got a long way to go, but he's been there before. The greatest comebacks. Start from the deepest deficits. Three, nine. But Leon Jinquin wants none of that business on his resume. The Dark Knight, Ling Gao Yuan has felt it before. Leon Jinquin looking to avoid being the poster child of comeback kings. The victim of a comeback king. Oh, four, nine. to pull this ball and spin it the way Timo did from the baseline to the very edge of the table, right to the line. Wow. Appeared to be clean. Nine, five. Two big points playing it out in front. Weight on the balls of the feet. Timo taking it early. That timing. Perfect combination, Leong Jingquin. Soft touch gets a slow spinny ball and is quick to get to the backhand corner. There's the soft touch. Wide spin, deserves a wider one back, creates that wider opening angle and now it's five game points for a three to two lead. Six, 10. 
One game point saved. Timo gets the serves back, but he'll have to get through this one to pluralize the word serve. On the move, Timo. It looked like he extended the racket to the fingertips to reach that. Timeout? Yeah, I would. Look at this. Full extension. We've seen Timo hand switch in moments like this, but this is a crucial game. Back from the timeout, Liang Jingquin still with three game points. Timo with a second Seven, serve. Ten. Flirting with disaster here. Tight serve is a must. Surprise, Ten, surprise. Eight. Timo hits the very corner of the table. Liang Jingquin manages to get it back. Take a look here. That one. And now it's into the forehand game. Six of the last eight points Timo has won. Was down 5-10. It's not just tough winning a point against Timo, it's tough when you know that he's so good under pressure. <laughs> Timo once again! We don't want to speak too soon. This game isn't over. Leon Jinquin knows it well, as does Timo. Spectators, of course, but very efficient strokes here, Timo. Waiting with the racket high like a shield for a good moment to punch it back to an uncomfortable place. Four in a row for Timo. Fifth game point for Liang Jingquin. And he saves it as well. This for me is a moment when you would expect to see a player serving, pushing the boundaries of their service toss. And Timo diffusing the timeout so far. The timeout was at 7-10. Three in a row for Timo. Alternating serves here, deuce. Oh, the chop block Remember? comes back. <laughs> Timo with a nasty chop block, and Ji Liang Jingquin touches it ever so delicately back. First point in a long time. There's the chop block, and a shallow touch sought. Timo. Tries to scrape it off. Game point once again for Liang Jingquin. Now this is a very similar pattern to the scoreline versus the Dark Knight and Liege. That was game seven. Timo came back from 4-10 down, lost the next points, and won 13-11 if memory serves. Second deuce point, Timo with the serve. Spin shot sets up a game point. Timo with his toes on the line. Liang Jingquin feeling the pressure right now. Stadium full of your Patriots behind you. 11 serving 12. Ooh. Interesting. Sounded like it caught the edge here. Liang Jingquin deep to the corner. Timo with a nice flick to the middle. Watch the response. 
perfectly played to the line. Fourth towel break. Whoever gets a two-point lead wins this game and goes up three to two in this best of seven quarterfinal. Timo's been collecting points for some time after a year of not really playing many events. Just too fast, Jin Quinn up to the speed in this rally. Timo made that incredibly tough. Leon Jin Quinn pulling out marvelous play. Superhero-like speed. And just when you thought Timo had it, one extra spin shot, covers the middle, jumps, punching forward. Hands in the air for the fans over there. And a cold stare. Leong Jing Quinn with another game point. And he takes the game, 14 to 12. After being up 10-5, who would have thought that this is how this game would end? Liang Jing Kun getting air pressure back in the cabin after a scary moment that might make you want to breathe into a mask even if you don't see it inflating. It is a three to two lead right now for the upper seed world rank number five, Liang Jing Kun, Da Pong Big Fatty. 14 to 12 is one game away from the semifinals. The battle continues in game number six right after this. We've got more to follow. The last non-Chinese woman in the women's singles event is Shin Yu Bin, the youngster from Korea, 19 years old, will be battling against the 30-year-old in good spirits, Chun Meng, the Olympic champion defending. She's in good spirits here. I've seen her lighter than usual. She just has an aura about her that, I don't know, she seems free. There's a lot of pressure when you're that good at table tennis and you've reached the top. You've taken World number one for quite some time. You've taken an Olympic gold. 2022 champion Chun Meng. That match with Shin Yu Bin will follow this one here. Sixth game, Liang to serve, love all. Liang Jing Quinn with the serves to start it off, leading three to two. Love one. Timo's got to believe in the magic. How many times has he come back from five, ten down? Two, love. From a momentum standpoint, if you start from five, ten, Timo's won the majority of the points, and he takes the first two on receive. If this comes to the decider, he's going to be running on fumes, but he'll be running. And this backhand strong inside the table. Opening flick receive. Liang Jing Quinn from the baseline. Perfect extension. Finishes with the racket. Just in front of him. Ready for another shot. One, three. It's funny, you think you're good at table tennis. The pros know better. When you play Timo Bowl. You're humble. <laughs> Smart Two, timing and three. placement. Leong Jing Quinn not backing off the table in this rally. If he's got Timo behind, says, you know what, I'm gonna play slightly shorter strokes, keep the racket high. And that's exactly what he does, moves back into the table to capture the valuable real estate. Leong Jing Quinn within one. Timo four, with the net two. and the follow-up spin. A little fortune and four to two he leads at the first towel break. <laughs> Fun fact, in case Timo Bowles ever playing a non-Chinese player, you might hear the fans cheering Jio Boar. Boar, his nickname in China. Five, two. It's essentially how you would pronounce his last name in Chinese, as you do. Pendulum serve getting a passive receive 
And Timo with that extra spin on the backhand. Again, he doesn't have a typical game. Three, five. And while all the players on the Chinese team have their own quirks, individual styles, they do typically have quite textbook formula. They were brought up through an incredibly well-developed system to be this level. Backhand off the bounce, Liang Jingquin back within one. Timo still has his timeout. Love it. Six, the confidence, four. the boldness to play it that soft. The confidence in your control, your touch game. Timo reads the ball so well. No shortage of answers and options for how to respond from Timo's side. But this Six, shot, five. Liang Jingquin steals the opening attack. Keen at the baseline of the table to get in and put the pressure on. Big serve here for Timo. Doesn't want to give it back even. Be on the receive. No, come on. That backhand. How does he tuck and find ways to generate topspin in response to that ball? Keep your eyes on Timo. Short stroke. It's like Timo knows before you know what you're going to do. Dear Timo. What's going to happen tomorrow when I get a serve short to my forehand? Waiting for reply, Timo will know. Six, the seven. parallel backhand, Liang Jingquin getting into a good fight here. If he can play these parallels with pressure like that, it's going to set up a nice dynamic on the table to create the opening forehand, or say the follow-up forehand. Eight, Timo six. down the middle hangs on to the two point lead getting into the business end of the game and it is serious business remember 1.5 million dollars tough to handle that shot covering the middle oh right down Nine, the line six. the empty flick Timo first with an empty flick, and then Liang Jingquin goes to the wide forehand. Timo under pressure. There's the awkward ball. And even more awkward as it comes back right on the line. A three point lead now for the Magic Man. Seven, nine. Not where he wants to be. It's Liang Jingquin who's able to hold his ground, drive Timo behind the table. Perfectly played into that pocket, the crossover point, getting Timo to pull the right, or left leg back rather, as he's left-handed, creating room for the forehand. Big seven, point sets up three ten. game points. In a best of seven in the second session, this would be the first decider. Mima Ito was close going to the sixth. Three game points for Timo. D to the Eleven, side to seven. the dur. Timo Game Bull, 11 to 7, sends this one to the decider. After being beaten 4 0 nearly six years ago, their last encounter. And Timo has not lied down on the job. Fumes, well, he is definitely feeling it now. Game number seven coming right up after an 11 to 7 victory. Timo has never beaten Liang Jing Quinn. Will today be the day? Stay right here to find out the quarterfinals of the men's singles with Timo Bull and Leon Jing Quinn. What it is, what it is. Seventh and last game, ball to serve, 
Laugh on. That's what it is. The last game of this match. The decider, Timo with the momentum and the serves to start it off. They'll switch when one player reaches five points. Nice shallow spin. Opening spin shot. The second one just behind the net. Almost seemed physically impossible that the ball could bounce where it did on this second ball. Watch. Okay, from that camera angle, you could see it was about a foot behind the net. One off. It's about 30 and a half centimeters for the rest of the world. One point apiece now. Ooh, takes his chances, goes for a little walk in the park and forgets to shut the back door, but Timo quite close, stops at the welcome mat. Heavy spin coming in, quality on that forehand. Liang Jingquin's been known to do that. He's won his fair share of matches in the decider, Liang Jingquin, including Timo, excuse me, <laughs> Tomo Kazuharimoto. One, three. Fired up, the Chinese bench. Ah, an early timeout. Interesting, Timo time. I figured if he lost his next point, he'd call one, but he's got two Time serves. Both. This isn't a bad time for a timeout. I mean, rarely would you ever question anything that Timo does. When you've got two serves on your side, the conversation's a bit different. And in a packed house here, I've heard the last few days are sold out. A few seats open. Get your tickets while you can. But Timo Bull talking with Rossi or Groskoff. It looked like about one serve, two following up to the middle, staying on top of the bounce, ending one, the rallies three. quickly. It's often been the tactic. The question is how to get Liang Jingquin in an uncomfortable situation. Let's see. Ah! That's a tough Four. one for Timo. Liang Jingquin roars because he knows that he had his back against the ropes in this point. Either player would have roared the celebration from that position. Timo sets it up so wonderfully. Heavy top spin back to the baseline. Liang Jingquin extending his lead out of the timeout for Timo. The parallel though, switch sides. And you can feel the confidence, the energy that Wang Hao has from the bench for Liang Jingquin. They're sharing this energy very much. 11-7, Timo took the last game. Tactically speaking, the wide forehand, Liang Jingquin's finding his ways to get Timo to turn. Normally they do have people that keep people from uh, moving right Fire behind the table. One. Fans in white shirts behind the table, moving in the background. Timo saying, well, you heard it. What's going on? Six, one. Two days in a row, actually, we don't hear Timo Asking for much ever. Six to one, Liang Jingquin extending his lead. What? <laughs> Six. The net recovery. I'd love to see this one all the way through. That point, we talked about balance earlier. 
And how Leong Jiquin's got so much of it. Net recovers it on his knees, tries to play it from his knees. No time to get back up. Net slides forward like Johnny be good. But Leong Jiquin be not quite as good as he wanted to in that point. Second point for Timo. Oh! Seven. Tough times. A Liu, a gift for Leong Jingquin. He was down five when they were game points a few games ago. <laughs> Leong Jingquin so well prepared in these rallies. One more shot than most get back against Timo. The wide forehand, Leong Jingquin, to find balance between anticipating and simply recognizing quickly and making your move. Short stroke, once again spinning it a little shallow on the table. Liang Jingquin testing the in and out footwork. There it is. Eight, three. Timo acknowledging a little fortune along the way. Sometimes too quick to see the net there. Saw it come down. And that put Liang Jingquin in a more passive situation. Five points between them once again in the decider. Oh, monstrous backhand. That grunt was nasty and the backhand deserved it. Yeah, it'll make your clap floppy. That's the type of backhand this was. If Timo can't get a racket on it when he's not turning the corner, that just goes to show you how much firepower was behind that ball. Second towel break, two points away from a place in the semifinals for Liang Jingquin. Serves with Timo. Hand switch, but it doesn't matter. Timo saves, we've seen him play hand switch. We've seen him play those hand switches before. It's by necessity. Reaching across the body would have been too tough. Edge of the table Eight, sets up six ten, match four. points for Leong Jingquin. A healthy and polite pause from the crowd before they cheer. Or it could have simply been that they weren't aware of the edge. Either way, six match points. Timo down ten, the line. Five. Four, ten in the seventh. A scary sight to most playing Timo's side of the table. But fans know that you can never count Timo out until they stop keeping score. Audience, please. 10 5. And he takes it, Leong Jinquin shuts Gary back, shuts down the comeback game. Timo Bull with a hug, a pat three. on the back, and everything else, an interaction like we rarely see. And the glowing fans will be shining ear to ear with smiles as Leong Jinquin takes down an in-form 43-year-old Timo Bull. Look at the...